Hey guys and girls, welcome back to some Harvest Stella where we left off. Um, so I did a good bit of things off screen. Um, I didn't touch the romance events much. I probably should do that at some point. But um, I am going to finally push past chapter 3, hopefully. We, uh, we have one more to go, 3C. I've been kind of um, sidetracked by everything in this game and it's been fun to mess with. But uh, we made our way to the to the west to the holy capital of Argen, uh, which is the last area we have to go to. So we're gonna jump into the snow area and uh, see about purifying the last sea slot. Pretty. This is a cool area already. The holy capital, Argen. Are you travelers? What brings you to the holy capital? Uh, we came to meet someone called Sh Shrika. You want to see Sister Shrika? Absolutely not. She does not take appointments from the likes of yourselves. Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt just to let you in. You may pass. But if you do anything even the slightest bit suspicious, we're locking you up. Okay. That's creepy. Another beautiful area, per usual, with this game. I feel like every area is just stunning. When, when, we, when we first get here. It's a really freaking amazing looking world. Uh, snow country recipes. A collection of recipes for dishes like stew and ice cream. Ooh. I could get down with ice cream. I'm going to take that. I think. Ooh. ooh. Grows in winter. Grows in spring and winter on the farm. Fall and winter. Okay, so I can grow potatoes in the winter. That's good to know. I'm only going to take one of a few of these because they're expensive. It looks like that actually might be all I can get. Black pepper? Okay. That's fine. Alright, so we're aiming to to do main story. Um, to finally kind of push past the, the, the split off of chapter 3. Cause, uh, and then once I jump into chapter 4, I'll probably get sidetracked again. Uh, the, way I, the way I do this game, in terms of recording these, is um, I record story. And then um, I, I play huge chunks of the side stuff off screen. And then we get back to the story, cause uh, it's a game that just I can't stop playing. <laughs> so I, 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 I force myself to like, and it's addicting. The, uh, the monotonous, not the, it's, I don't want to say it's monotonous. The grind, cause it is a fun grind. I'm enjoying it. The winter seaside is enshrined in the divine seaside cave through here. At the moment, access is restricted. If you want to enter, you need to get permission first. Or can we, we get that? The order's headquarters in the temple. I don't feel like there's something weird going on here. Did you see someone come through here just now? No? Why? It's the intruder. He showed up again. What? The scoundrel trying to get past us. Oh, hello. He looks cool. Oh, shit. Psst. Don't tell them you saw me. Ah, where did he go? Have any of you seen him? Uh, I didn't see anyone. Hmm. Things are getting a bit frantic here. Anyhow, they said we have to get permission from the order. Yeah, let's do it. That was weird, but... We're gonna just ignore that and continue with our objective. 
So yeah, I'm I I, I push through um, a lot of farming. I play the game like a farming game basically when I'm not recording and when I'm recording uh, we get these the we get the, the the story nuggets which I've been enjoying to death because it's so much fun. <laughs> like I can't stress enough how much I, I I love this game. I don't know I don't know what's going on with the with the current reviews to be honest because like I'm having a blast. Do you have some business here? We wanted to check the sea slide, but we heard we would need your permission first. There's no time to lose. Could you let us in? There's no need for you to check the sea slide. Leave that to our missionaries. We are under instructions not to allow those who aren't wearing a floss indulgentia into the temple. Uh, what's a floss indulgentia? If you don't know what it is, then I won't waste my breath. Excuse me? Hey now, that was a bit harsh. Let's give these travelers a chance. Hey, it's you. Shrika. I knew we'd meet again. But Sister Shrika, those without a floss in gentia are tainted souls. We must not allow them into the temple. I guess that makes me a tainted soul then. I don't have one. But, but you're different. You were consecrated at birth. You don't need a floss in Dolgentia. Whatever. Who gave you those these orders? Depending on who it is, I might be able to arrange something. The Patriarch. The Patriarch? Are you sure? Yes, sister. Oh. If his eminence says so, then there must be a good reason for it. Hold on a minute. You've changed your tone. Why are you acting all respectful all of a sudden? I'm sorry. Doesn't look like I'll be able to get you into the temple. I think that's your best bet. How do we get one? Only people who have been baptized at Temple Indulgentia can wear one. What do you mean by baptized? I'm not totally sure how it all works. I'm a missionary, so most of my, most of my work is out of the house. Besides, both the Floss Indulgentia and the temple are pretty recent developments. Try visiting Temple Indulgentia. There's a priest there called... Their site. You should be able to get somewhere with that, okay? I gotta go get baptized for these people's like weird religion. What the hell? What the heck? Damn, look at this line. Form an orderly line here for baptism. Excuse me, you there. If you're here to get baptized, please get in line. Ah, uh, Shrika sent us. Oh, so Shrika sent you here. I am Therosite. You look like travelers. And? That's Shrika. She was supposed to come and talk to the Patriarch when she got back from her research. Well, sorry, I'm afraid only a believer of the order may receive a, a baptism. What's more, we're inundated with evacuees from D Doxa at the moment. Has there been some kind of disaster? Not yet. There will be. It has been foretold by the Patriarch's Oracle. An Oracle? Yes. There's been a change in the seaside recently. Since then, His Eminence has been able to receive divine re revelation. According to the oracle, a disaster is imminent. Yesterday, we received an oracle that the village of Doxa would be met with a great disaster in the very near future. The villagers are coming here in large numbers for refuge. Give me a break. You're telling me all of you people believe in this fortune-telling nonsense? You are not believers? To be honest with you, I had my doubts in the beginning too, but the oracle has been true. Whatever tricks they're pulling in the background, I have to concede that there's some truth in it. Uh, is a priest allowed to say that? I couldn't care less about the teachings. Believing won't put bread on the table. Are you working for the order, then? Well... That doesn't matter. Temple Indulgentia is busy right now. I'm afraid I won't have time to get you in for a baptism. Back to square one. <laughs> The order is shadier than I expected. 
Yeah. I can't believe all this nonsense about oracles and predicting the future. The priest didn't seem to believe in it, though. Uh, this oracle seems suspicious. Yeah, there's got to be something else behind it. Sorry, what did you say? Don't you believe in the teachings? Leave it. They're outsiders. Let's not get involved. Either way, we'll be stuck with more of them begging for mercy once the Oracle Prophecy comes true. I know, but we can't just allow the Holy Capital to keep getting tainted in sin by these outsiders. They won't affect us. We were purified by our floss and Ulgentia. Still, I heard that someone intruded into the the Divine Seaside Cave. Wasn't that person an outsider as well? Sorry, we didn't mean any harm. I think we should leave. Did you hear that? Uh, yes. Yeah. They said someone intruded into the divine cave. It's probably that guy we saw all dressed in black. If we find him, we might be able to get in there without the order's permission. Yeah, you're right. Right? Well, that's our next move. Let's see if we can find any signs of that guy in dressed in black. He might know a secret passageway. Where do we where do we even start though? Okay. Oh, I'm inside an instance. So I can't do nothing. I was wondering why I couldn't touch the thingy. Oh. Sorry. The young man dropped something. It's a dimly sparkling blue flower. Wait, what? Just like that. Hey! Excuse me, I lost my floss in Dolgentia. Have you seen it? Give it back. Yeah. Thank goodness, if I lost it, I'd... Anyway, thank you. You're a lifesaver. I gotta do the right thing. As much as I hate it. Wow. They really, like, tried to... Suss me out right there by making me steal from him. I heard the intruder was wearing a fake red floss in Dorgentia. I presume that will be deemed an ideological offense. It was clearly premeditated if you went as far as to wear a fake floss in Dorgentia. Let's hang out at the Holly Inn. No way, I'm not going there. You know, I heard that there's a ghost who shows up sometimes all dressed in black. You're scared? Mom says it must be cursed. Okay. The Holly Inn. If that ghost is the same person as that intruder with the red flower, then I think we know where to go next. Should we check out the inn? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Why are you not letting me activate these yet? It's bull, bull crap. Hello, you there, you look like you could do with some Damascusite? You can make legendary weapons. You won't find a better price anywhere else. Sure. Thank you for your patronage. Bye now. See ya. Oh. Uh. Okay. I got robbed. That's fun. <laughs> 
It vanishes in a puff of smoke. Looks like it was a fake. Oh. Yep. Robbed. The rumor in town is that there's a ghost dressed in black at the end. It's gotta be the intruder, right? I don't see any ghosts. Uh, let's ask the landlord. Good idea. Welcome to the Holly Inn. Do you need a room for the night? Uh... Because let me handle this. Look who it is. Are you sure you want to come out? That girl said she knew the secret of the Floss and Dulgentia. You there. You know it's true identity? Identity? Uh, oh, you mean that identity? Yeah, I know it very well. Well, we shouldn't discuss it out here in the open. Come over here. Secret passage? How did you find out it's secret? <laughs> it's a bluff. I don't know any secret. Can't you tell? I just said that to lure him out. We heard rumors in town that the intruder was probably an ideological criminal, right? So I pretended that I was rebelling against the order, too. I was just bluffing. People who are obsessed with an ideology are the same in every time period. Anyway, I think we'll be able to get something out of him. this room for the landlord made this secret store to hide goods from the order in the teachings it's a sin to earn money but the landlord will keep quiet about anything for the right price the order would never think to look for me here right well let's get down to business I'd like you to join forces 
I'd like to join forces with you to overthrow the Order. Overthrow the Order? Who cares about that? You're Ziegfeld's... Ziegfeld? You were bluffing, weren't you? I guess you got me. Well, what do you actually want? Why did you go to such trouble to talk to me? Uh, we want to get to the Winter Sea site. Take us. Oh, that? Well, sure. Why not? I've already given away too much. I do know a hidden route to the Sea site cave. I knew it! But, if you want to know, it'll cost you. You want to strike up a deal? Of course, I'm not one to give away my services for free. I'm a mercenary. I'll only take you to the seaside if you pay to hire me. 3,000 grilla ought to do it. What? That's extortion! If anything, that's cheap. I'm highly capable. Oh. I had money, but I'm broke now. I have to refuse for now. I don't have it. I can't. I can't do nothing about that. I'll have to come back. I didn't think that they would force me to do that. Okay. We can make that pretty easily. I just didn't think that that was going to be a thing. <sighs> okay. Alright. So I'm just going to kind of skip time at this point then. Animals are good, right? Yeah. Um... That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I'm going to grab five milk. We're just going to sell some things till we make the amount we need. Um, I'm going to grab three of these honey flowers. I'm going to sell all these tomatoes. I don't think I'm going to need them, to be honest. I'm going to sell six of these, two of these, three of these. Um, Fifteen of these. A couple of these. Uh, that should be it. I'm probably not, I'm probably not going to sell all of the tomatoes. But all this other stuff, yep. I feel like I need... I'm going to need to hold on to some. Um, okay. So like I said, we're just going to skip time. We'll let that play out so I can... This is all about story. This is all we want right now. There you go. Wow, the honey flowers were the big seller. Crazy. All right. So let's do my da my daily stuff, and then um, we'll head back over there. Oh, oh, we got a letter. I might be able to... Hey, he's going to bring the lighthouse back up. That was an earlier side quest we did, which is nice. Actually, can't I... Yeah. There you go.
Bada bang. Like that. Um, I didn't have anything in my flour mills. The crops that are left are all good to go. We're gonna do that. Check on the animals. Make sure they're all loved. Boop. And we saw their sellable things. Place their cool stuff away. And let's head over to the biome because my coconut. Yeah, or local nut, I should say. Tree. Figured it'd be ready. And then what I'm also gonna do, because I actually didn't even know I had them, to be honest, was, um. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm stupid. Burst in spring. Yeah, no, never mind. Never mind. This is fine. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna throw in... These, and then we get on out of here. Cause then we can pay the bastard. See, it wasn't really hard to to make the money needed. I just he happened to catch me after I fell into my spending addiction. <laughs> oh, also real quick. I'm gonna throw it on the save. Alright. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, wait, 10 minutes. There it is. That's your stupid money. Heh, <laughs> pleasure doing business with you. I'll escort you whenever you're ready. Just say the word. My name's Braca. Try not to forget it. Braca. The Avenger job class. A job with long range physical attacks. Cool. Okay. I'll throw him in the party. Brock, uh, he seems cool. Oh, it's a gunner? Ooh, that's kind of badass. Flame and freeze round? So yeah, let's do that. That sounds awesome, to be honest. Ready to go? Yeah. Let's move. Wait, we're going right this second? Yep, the secret store runs pretty deep. There's a small underground passage that runs just above it. Uh, you live in a place like that? Why? Do you think that's weird? Besides, we can't hope to get anywhere without facing a little danger. 
Wait just a second. There's no way the Order wouldn't find that tunnel right away. Nah, don't worry. Nobody in the Order knows about this route. I think it was made by people planning to rebel against the Order. Talk like that is now long dead, though. And no one would use it now, anyway. The whole place looks like it could collapse at any moment. Even if they did suspect someone of sneaking in here, I think they'd be too scared to follow them and find out. Did you say collapse at any moment? I'm sure that's just a deterrent. Baraka said he uses this route all the time. The girl's got a point there. Let's go. I want to use his abilities. That sounds dope as fuck. But I'll, I'll stick to my... Uh, I think I'll... I mean, I'll... I'll see him in action. This will be... Um, I already I already can sense that this will be a good place to probably farm ore, which I'm I'm here for. The Divine Sea Slide Cave. It's also probably gonna get me access to cave biomes because I've seen some plants only grow in caves. We're here. That was easier than expected. That's because I'm always running around in here. A novice would be in for a world of hurt, though. A world of hurt. We should hurry. You're right. What do you mean, we? If I remember right, it was your friend that paid me. Ah, well, I was speaking on Lucas, Lucas's behalf. Ah, uh, sure, what she said. Huh. <laughs> see <laughs> Don't you worry, you're getting your money's worth. Either way, I've also got my own business with the Winter Sea Slide. Don't slow me down. Yeah, look at that. So this is the giant, like, rifle. It's kind of cool. Uh, if I switch. Yo. I look kind of dope. My eye. Okay. Pick up the pace. Or would you rather I left you here? Pick up the pace, or would you rather I left you here? Ooh. I love how they give me a repair kit on the other side of the damn bridge. Oh, also, I'm probably gonna need to take this in a bit. We'll see. I'll hold it off till it becomes a, necess a necessity. Uh... Piece of cake. I'm highly capable. The name's Braca. I can get you where you need to go. So, what is this now? Is this ice that I switched to? I think so. Now, now I'm in fire mode. I like this a lot. I might... Do I dare start doing ranged and then bring in, uh... Estina or whatever uh, her name was? The, uh, Thick Mommy? Oh, uh, that's... I'm, I'm, I'm not getting back up if I go down there. Okay, I have to go down there. Good to know. We let's get this over. Oh wait, I have his Tina now. I'm stupid. I thought that was Arya for some reason. But yeah, use Estina. Um, and Arya is what I meant to say. And then be the gunner. Do I dare? But like, 
That's fine. Yeah, let's do this. Make it easy to get back and forth. I have plenty of time. I'm not too stressed about it. We'll get there soon. Uh, let's go back to my to my choppity chops. Ooh, gold ore. Hell yeah. Definitely leveling up the gunner though, because that seems badass. I, I, I dig it. Piece of cake. You're in capable hands. I think that's what he said. Oh, are you kidding me at this? I'm good at this. I'm good at this. A gold ore. Probably worth it, I hope. I hope gold is rare. Shortcut. That's a big boy. I like Braca. I like his. I like his class. I should say. Um, it's definitely one that that I wouldn't mind going back and forth between. Like just, just whipping out the gun, going back to the other one, stuff like that. Hollow point. Deliver a piercing attack on the target before le leaping back. Um, I'm just going to increase the damage, I think. Oh, I can get hollow point too. Okay, cool. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Some big, big nasties around this area. I'll take another. I still don't know where, like those things are adding up or two or whatever i'm assuming it's the dude that sells us the mounts that is where I'll, those those will matter that i'm gathering them but i have literally no idea we're at the midpoint Wait. What is it? I sent some big ones. And they're not friendly. What is that? Some kind of mercenary instinct? You could say that. We we'll need to defeat whatever they are if we want to go any further. Duh. 
Let's go. Da, da, da. Oh, come on. I didn't even get a chance to dodge that. It happened so quickly. Da, da, da. We did it! No, we haven't yet! Tch, this isn't good. Was that some kind of war cry? Yeah, probably. Oh no. Oh, hold on just a minute. This hardly seems fair. It called its friends for help, huh? Who would have thought it was this popular? Uh, is this for us? Is this it for us? Stand aside! Holy shit. Oh, is this. Spria, Stria? The, the priest lady? Who's there? You should work on your manners. Yo, she's a sage! <laughs> Why didn't I notice that before? Her outfit looks like... Uh, it's you. When I was told they were intruders, I didn't expect them to be you. Why are you here? We're here to save a great fairy. We have... A great fairy? You're up to something, aren't you? Sister Shrika, regardless of what it is, they have no permission to be here. We must capture them and put them out to trial. R right. Permission, permission. Do you never get tired of listening to yourselves? Seaside is beyond all human understanding. It watches over us and all we do. What a 
primitive notion. Do you think it's some sort of god? You know, god doesn't exist, right? The truth will be revealed someday, then what will you do when the scales are ripped from your eyes? Sister Shrika, his eminence has ordered us to capture the intruders. You're right. Understood. Take them away. Rude. Begin the Inquisition! That's funny, though, that she's basically a sage from Final Fantasy. Did we really treat prisoners this badly way back that when? Uh, at least we're being tried together. Is that supposed to make me feel better? I can't stay cooped up in a place like this. His Most R Reverend Excellency Siegfried, Patriarch of Argen. So that's the Patriarch. He's the reason we're in this mess. Isn't that Shrika beside him? I wonder what she's thinking. Silence. Oh, blessed stone of seasons. In your grace, we judge these lost souls as the sea slide doth desire it. Let us begin, Inquisitor. Lay out their lay out their sins. Your Eminence, the sinners were apprehended within the divine sea slide cave. They are to be tried for the defilement of such hallowed ground. Footprints indicate their intention was to reach the center of the cave, the seat of the Stone of Seasons. These are no ordinary villains. It is believed their intentions were indeed evil in nature. I see. A question to be accused. To the accused. What were you hoping to achieve at the center of the Divine Sea Slide Cave? Uh... To investigate the Sea Slide. Investigate the Stone of Seasons. You wish to interfere with the sacred mission of our missionaries. 
I do not believe you would put your lives at such risk. Do you truly wish to add falsities to your list of sins? What? Their guilt seems evident. Let us call upon the witnesses who can testify the weight of the defendant's sins. We call forward the first witness. I saw it, I saw it all. Their whisperings and scheming in the shadows. What? I saw them pay a man who was concealed in the darkness. Make no mistake, they were making some evil devilish deal. What? No, he just offered... What? That's everything I saw. <sighs> Next witness to the stand. Oh, they're going to say I lied to them. I was guarding the Divine Sea Slide Cave. They were present when the insurgent broke in, but... Wow. I just screwed myself. I didn't see anyone. That they were present at the time makes me believe they were actually covering for the real perpetrator. Yes, there's no mistake. This is truly wicked. That is all I have to say. What? Our final witness, come forward. That's the dude I could have robbed. Forgive me, for I have sinned. It was when I dropped my false indolentia that I witnessed the sinners. The criminals found it from what I hear. They wanted one for themselves. If I hadn't returned then, I can only assume they intended to st What? That is the end of my account. Wow, this place sucks. What's going on? They're bending the truth in order to paint us as some utter villains. It has become clear the depths of their sins are far worse than we could have possibly imagined. Your Eminence? Yes, my child. Should we not allow the sinners a chance to defend themselves against these accusations? We mustn't simply assume everything the witnesses have said is true. There shall be no need. Or do you believe the word of a sinner to weigh more than that of a custodian of the Floss Indolentia? With all due respect, a Floss Indolentia should not change someone's so social standing. Nor do I believe it should absolve anyone of their sin. Shrika, you are tired. Please rest once the Inquisition has been concluded. His Eminence will deliver his verdict. Yes, the sins of these criminals are abundantly clear. Not content enough to defile sacred ground, they chose to cast suspicion and even petty theft. There is but one punishment fitting for those beyond the Holy Mother's mercy. Execution! You can't! We didn't do any of those things! Q Braca, please. To the dungeons with you! Well, this is a predicament. If I ever did see one. Being incarnated is incarcerated is quite the rare experience by the way i don't mean to come across as naive but execution means they're going to kill us right it doesn't have a different meaning in this age no <laughs> sadly i can't believe i'm gonna die like this i'll never make it back to my own time after all they have to find a way out i used to watch a tons of jailbreak movies but Somehow I don't think that'll help the odds in our, our the odds are not in our favor. come to this I can't help wishing I'd spent more time with my mom and dad uh, what was your mother like what a strange question to ask at a time like this uh, whatever 
We're probably going to die here anyway. Some I would say I only rode on my parents' coattails. So it's not that we weren't close, I just kind of distanced myself from them. Even though we used to go on family vacations and do all kinds of fun things together. Uh, what kind of things do you do? did you do for fun? much time for that kind of stuff as I got older since I was always doing research but I still remember going to theme parks as a family when I was younger <clears throat> my heart pounding on a roller coaster seeing the lights at the closing parade it was like some magical dream world I was always pestering my parents to to ride the same coaster over and over. Then I would refuse to leave when the park closed. I even climbed to the top of a tower. My mom was so mad. Those are the only happy childhood memories I have. They what kept me going even after that horrible disaster. Uh, what was that disaster? There was a cataclysm that kickstarted the death of our planet. I had been researching a way to fix it. That's why it's so important for me to get back to my time. So I can't die here. There must be something we can do about that prison guard. So you're up for execution too, eh? Uh, there are others? Yep. I think the plan is to execute all the worst defenders in one fell swoop. The temple and his flower. <laughs> we can absolve ourselves of those sins and keep that dreadful season at bay. That's absurd. I suppose everyone here believes in that megalomania, m megalomaniacal response. If you're calling them delusions, you're wrong. The patriarch has his oracle, they speak only the truth. Which is exactly what someone with m megalomaniacal tendencies would say. Nothing, I'm talking to myself. You know, if, if 
ye just accepted his truth and wore a floss indulgentia, you wouldn't be in the situation. I bet you want it. I bet you want one now, don't you? Uh, we don't need anything like that. Screw you guys. Remember, lying is a sin. I can see it in your eyes. You want a false indulgentia, and I'm in a position to be able to help you. You see, I've actually got a fair few of them. They don't go for cheap, mind you. So what'd you say? Sure. Don't bother. That flower really isn't worth it. No! Ah! Bracca! Where the hell have you been? I should... I should be asking the same thing. You know you're dealing with order missionaries, right? There's no use in sticking around if one of them crosses your path or you end up here. How'd you get in here? I wouldn't go that far. I just heard your familiar voice echo through the underground passage. Is that near here? Yep. Looks like my guess about it being built by order insurgents was right. It's connected to this very dungeon. I didn't even know this route existed until now. Still, I'm glad you're here. Uh, you're a pretty good escort, Baraka. <laughs> the deal was to take you all the way to the seaside, remember? You get what you paid for. There's no need to hang around here any longer. I said it's time for a prison break. Let's go. We're clear of the dungeon. What now? Uh huh? Ta -ta 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 -ta. Bro, is this it? Is the passage finally collapsing? I don't want to be buried alive! Neither do I! We're fine. That rumble came from somewhere near the surface. Something's probably happening at the Holy Capital. Let's go take a look. Let's go. Craziness is happening. We gotta find out what it is. Oh my, isn't Doc so over that way? Oh, you're absolutely right. I've never seen an avalanche like that. It's just as the Oracle foretold, a great calamity would befall Doxa. The Oracle saved us. Looks like the Oracle's predictions about a great calamity came true. The Oracle, huh? The Oracle of the Patriarch was right. Come, we should get pa baptized as well. Yeah, you're right. Tch. That Siegfried's getting just what he wanted. At this rate, everyone in the Holy City We'll be walking around with one of those floss indulgentias. What's with the red one you're wearing? I was wondering the same thing. I thought you had business with the sea slide. I'm not prying into your business, so maybe you shouldn't pry into the business of others. My duties are done for today. I'm going back to my hideout. If you wish to return to the sea slide, then call on me again another day. He's hiding something. But we can deal with this later for now. Let's split up. Go to Arjen at a later date. There is side quests all throughout this place. But... Wow. Uh, we're main questing. I have to stick to the main quest. I've, I, I veer off so much. And I plan to veer off once we finish this area. Uh, but... Main quest. Main quest.
morning. Some information from Miss Tina. Okay. So she. Miss Tina has a mission in Argen as well. Interesting. Um. that up um i want my sandwiches sandwich yeah that's fine um i kind of want to sell more things because i for some reason feel like they're gonna throw me for like a curb like a curb on i want to need cash for some reason I'll do that. Seven popatos. Oh, well, not popatos. This isn't Final Fantasy. P potatoes. I'm gonna sell five of the good eggs and six of the good milks. And that'll be my small stash to sell for now. Kind of help keep me afloat a little bit. I'm gonna head back to Argen and see if there's any developments that we need to deal with. Oh, I forgot to check on the animals. Damn it. I need to do that. Oh, oh well. Too late. Is it me or is it eerily quiet? You two! Uh oh, we should go, Luke! Wait, that's not why I'm here! Excuse me? Uh, where are your friends? Well, the holy capital is completely empty. Their side, what about the dungeon? Nothing aside from the escaped convicts here. All of the other sinners have vanished. How could this be? Uh, what the hell happened? Well, where to begin? To cut straight to the point, every devout in the city disappeared overnight. He's right, civilian and priest alike. I think we're all that's left. Uh, where do you think they went? That's the question. We've searched everywhere. Inside the city, all that's left is the Divine Seaslight Cave. You think so too, huh? Uh, what does that mean? They tightened security at the entrance. Even missionaries were forbidden entry. But the priest there was acting strange. They just kept mumbling, saying we weren't allowed in over and over. It was like they were possessed. I've only been a priest for a year, but to refuse a missionary like Shrika? That's shady to me. But it's not like we can't... We can get in there and see for ourselves. Let's use the hidden route. You really want to tell them? What am I saying? Of course you do. What hidden route? If you two can promise to cooperate, then we'll help you get into the Divine Seaslight Cave. Cooperate with you? Don't make me laugh. Wait, Sights. There really isn't any other way. 
Fine, if you want to join hands with blasphemers, then go right ahead. If you'll excuse me. But sights... Will you come with us? I... Uh... No, this isn't the time for uncertainty. Please show me the way. Let's hurry and find Braca. <gasps> Braca, Braca, Braca! We have a holy maiden that wants to see your secret spot. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Where's my boy Braca? Is he here? Chillin'? So you came after all. I was wondering what... Uh, pardon my intrusion. This is an interesting home. Hey, you brought a missionary here? What are you selling me out now? Uh, just calm down. That's right. Will you listen a moment? Just get to the point. You explain the situation to Baraka. So that's what's going on. Still can't say it's enough to make me start trusting a missionary. What about you, Shriek of Vermand? Since we're all cooperating now, why don't you tell us what you know? It's rude to assume. Don't play coy. You mean to tell me you heard nothing standing near Ziegfeld Zeke all this time? His eminence. Yes, perhaps I did. What do you mean by that? There's a pretty high chance that Ziegfeld is responsible for whatever's happening. I agree. His eminence has forbidden entry into the Divine Seaslight Cave. Not to mention his visits to it have become more frequent as of late. He must be hiding something in there. And I bet it's tied to the sudden disappearance of everyone in town. That patriarch is up to no good. I always thought he was suspicious. But... What do you think, Shrika? I can't believe that his eminence would do something... Inacritus... To his own followers. Not after he took in sights and I when we were orphaned. So he's like a father to you. Yes, you could say that. You may not be tied by blood. No, it's because you're not that your debt to him must feel immeasurable. But you're probably in for a bumpy ride. If you don't feel ready to face the Patriarch, then you can stop now. Nobody will blame you. No, I can't stop here. I'm a missionary. I follow the dogma of the Holy Mother for her. I will exterminate anything that brings harm to the Order. Even if that threat is the Patriarch, I will be the one to stop him. It was he who raised me. He is like my own father. That is why it must be me who puts an end to his wrongdoing. I believe that is the one duty a child has to their parent. Fair enough. But don't push yourself too hard. I can't have you getting in the way. Okay. I think we've, all, we've said all there is to say. Time to head to the Divine Sea Slight. Hey. Call her Jabba Sage. Do it. I dare you. Pilgrim. A job that wields a magic blade for physical and magic attacks. It can learn wide range attacks and create fields that inflict damage. Cool. Shrieka. So we got Shrieka. Look at her. She's cool. I still want to stick to my boy. I like this setup. For now. Uh, yes.
Uh, wait. I wanna, yeah, just take me to the midpoint. I'm not running through the beginning all over again. Keep it going. Uh, that's a repair spot. Piece of cake. I'm highly capable, you know. Are you now? It's interesting facts with uh. Well, oh God, I should have took the ladder. I didn't know that there was a, there would be a fall there. I can go back around for it, I think. Okay. Alright. Hey, got some potatoes. He's highly capable. Gold ore. Oh god, oh god, no, oh, no, 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 no. One that I'm a fan of. Let's get this over. Holy shit, guys. Back. A shape and snowball. Take a closer look. Ice stone. It's a monster's voice. He didn't like me taking the mon uh, the ice stone. He can suck it though. Cause I don't give a fuck. It's mine now. Breaks so many bones just slamming into that like that. Nothing this way. Um. Are you now? I didn't know. <laughs> you keep telling me that. Um, the only thing I can think of is maybe that that right side, that east side, over here might be a a passageway that I'm missing that I can go to.
Let's get this. Take your fragments. Take all your fragments. They're mine now. This way. I have a feeling we can't defeat this. I hate that. But I love loot, so I'll take all that. Chili plant seeds. Hell yeah. Ow. Please get by them. Wow, we were we literally got chased down. It's rude. Okay. I was running because I was trying to save you guys' life. But you guys wanna fight us. That's what happens. You get deaded. What is this? Hello? The hello? What did we do? Are we the winter monolite activates and the environment changes. Did we freeze a different path? Was this a monster? Did we just freeze a monster? What? Wow. It's time to go this way, I guess. Um... There's a ladder here. Let's get this over. Another ladder. Wasting time a bit, but I feel like it would make it, 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 it just makes it easier for me to explore this place later down the line. Oh, wait, also, you know what? Never mind, never mind. We're gonna go this way first. We're nearing 10, which will be the first point of no return uh, as far as being in here. I'd like to make it to a, uh, a save point before then, hopefully. Are you now? I didn't know. God, wait, this is all slippery. I do have a bomb. Give me some chest. Chest time! Curry herb seeds. I'll take any seeds I can get. That's new produce to keep and or sell. Flower bed. What is this? The floss in Dolentia. So this is where they they were propagated. They were prog prograded. Shrika, did you ever ask the patriarch about these flowers? 
A thousand delentia absolve us of our sins. Humans are born sinful creatures. Quietus was born from that sin. The flower purifies us and the land. The more you say it, the shadier it sounds. Of course, even his most devout worshippers didn't believe him at first. They would whisper about the strange flower the patriarch was suddenly trying to foist on people. But when the seaside changed and calamities befell the city, people would cling to anything for salvation. His oracle would prophesy a disaster and just like that it would occur. It saved hundreds of lives. In time, anyone not seen embracing the purity of the flaws in Dolentia was rumored to be tainted. People were frantic to own one, and before you knew it, the flower became more important than prayer. But I couldn't believe that our faith would transform in such a way. Faith is in prayer. It buds from the wishes of the heart, not something you pin to your clothes. But what was I to do? The human heart is fickle. It's always searching for the easy solution. Meanwhile, the Flossa Dolentia spread throughout the Holy City, but nobody knew its true purpose. So are you going to finally tell us what that is? You know, don't you? Shrika, I have one question for you. Those that have been left behind, are any of them wearing that flower? Come to think of it, no, they aren't. Anyone who hasn't been wearing a floss in Dolentia is still in the city. How could this be? I thought as much. You think the floss in Dolentia has something to do with this? If it did... Explaining it here would take a horribly long time. Just go and see for yourself. All truths are waiting for you up ahead. Okay. C cryptic much? You could just tell us. My guy. Is there really no save yet? Thank you. Boop. Uh, how's the map looking? Yeah, no. We're going back. That's semi-far, and I'd like to look around a bit in the area. Okay. Um. take these I got smoked meat I'll take some smoked meat and then we will make two of these to take with us on the next trip and pop off to sleep ba 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 a 1500 guys sorry I didn't take care of you last time I should have actually kind of getting a little too low for my liking with feed so I'm gonna grab some of that real quick uh, where is it at feed
Oh, wait, I forgot to harvest that. No, you know what? Um, where is it at? Where is it at? No, you know what? Let's make jam. Why not? Is it is this one, right? Oh, you need more. Never mind. Damn it. Okay. Yep. Making juice then. So why not? Alright. So I'm going to end this part off here, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, on the next part, we're going to start off where that last save was. Um, and continue our quest into the cave sea slide. The, um, the Argen sea slide. And see what these corrupt priests and whatnot are doing here. Um, they need to be stopped. That's all we know for sure. And hopefully we'll be able to do it. Anyway, guys, I will see you later. Bye-bye.